night to everybody that is out there. Good night to you all. And um, this is an impromptu live, I must say. You know, nobody's expecting a live um, tonight. But based on the scheduling, that's what had to happen. We had to go live at this time. One of the things that I'm learning quickly is that we need to also um, prep for this 30-day um, um, no challenge. Um, official Jamie, I'm blessings to you. She said ads. Yeah, she not ask the ads. Hi, how you doing, girl? So thank you so much, Official Jamie, for being one of those faithful, one of the faithful listeners, uh, viewers, watchers, everything. So Official Jamie, Valerie, blessings to you. Big up yourself. Thank you for joining us. Um, Official Jamie, you may not have known, but we're doing a, a no sugar challenge for the month of January. We're trying to go 30 days without sugar. And um, that's a big move, and we're trying our best to make it happen. But one thing I've learned, we start. I started this morning, I started today. Because of scheduling and how things were going, we're going to get fever eat today. Daniel Rickley, blessings to you. Rodine Morgan Miller, blessings to you. Sunshine, thank you so much. You brighten my life. Yeah. Enram, big up yourself. Thank you so much for joining us. Guys, if you're staying, I promise you may not stay long. The dove fly, big up, big up to you. Blessings to you. So we're doing a 30-day um, no, no sugar challenge. And so I found out that we have a prep. Because if you follow yourself, you're going to eat where you want to eat. And it is rough. You understand? Rough, 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 rough. So today, basically, I don't eat nothing the whole day. Nothing. In the night, in the afternoon, and this is breaking my own rules, but guys, I couldn't help it. And, and it's just because I'm just busy. You know? In the afternoon, I had some bananas. And this is... um. Some organic bananas. Earl, blessings to you. Dahlia, that's me, D. Big up yourself. Yeah. So I'm try some banana. Maybe two. Two of them bananas I'm going to eat in the evening. And as, as based on how things stay, most of what I'm going to do now is just make some tea and call it tonight. But, however, I had a plan. And I'm sticking to the plan by making my plan for tomorrow. And this is the plan. I am making... Um, some salad bowls, marinated salad bowls, as you see by the title, marinated salad bowls. What I'm doing is I'm going to make the salad um, tonight, marinate it in, it, in, the, in, the, in the dressing that I'm going to make. And then tomorrow for the 12 o'clock break in of the fast, I will have a beautiful, well, delicious salad already prepped and prepared. And uh, the guys, this is by way of also inviting you to start doing that all right i just got a post from my neighbor and she has a youtube channel as well and i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a channel name um in the in the description but she just was posting something to say that rice white rice was found to have arsenic in it and we have been eating arsenic in small portions over a great period of time now what that means is if you are one of those persons who love white rice you may be eating arsenic and if you eat white rice for the whole week, then you might very much be eating arsenic in greater proportions than normal. So what that means, it means you're going to try to cut out some of the, the, the white rice over I eat. And, and with that being said, yeah, I'm going to do that. Now, let's get into the salad because that's what you're here for. The salad is, I'm, I'm going to, let me see, I can, I can take up my thing now and, and show now. My list of ingredients, guys, you know, all my little kitchen run already. So work with me, all right? Prayer kid, big up yourself in a youth. Big up yourself. I'm happy to see you, sir. All right, so it's late night. It's after eight. I'm going to nine. Yeah. All right, this is the salad, guys. So we have chickpeas, onions, scallions, tomatoes. We have avocado, cucumber. And we have an avocado here. Now, you know, so the avocado is like, um, what do you call it? It's gambling, you know. It gets and spell. You don't show where I go and it work if it don't work, you know. So you have to just work with the avocado. I have some feta cheese. I had eggs this morning that I had boiled for breakfast and I did not eat them. I went and did my walk and just never come back to the eggs. And I have some cilantro. Over here in my pot, I also have, this is buckwheat, guys. And this is buckwheat mixed with quinoa. 
all right and we did it with with some chickpeas we know not chickpeas um red peas red kidney bean so what we have here is an ancient grain buckwheat and we mix it with quinoa and then we also cooked it with um some red kidney bean and the buckwheat is gonna serve as part of the salad so this is what i'm doing now i'm gonna layer all of my salad ingredients so see so see, quick and easy and simple i'm gonna layer my salad ingredients in my bowl i'm gonna make a marinade with some olive oil some lemon and a little bit of other spices and we're pretty much gonna make our salad like so that is it tell me now guys if that's not easy i think everybody can make that everybody supposed to can make that easy 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 it is so easy guys you're not gonna be like wow why, why haven't anybody thought about that before so instead of the buckwheat you can use bulgur you can use um quinoa you can use give me another grain you know that you can use couscous well it's not a grain couscous is not a grain couscous is actually a pasta but couscous can be used or you can use you know any other um grain that you so choose you know instead of rice if you want to use brown rice you absolutely have to use rice you can use some brown rice or wild rice because wild rice is not really rice wild rice is actually, sorry wild rice is actually part of the grass family all right so those are the, the, the different um substitutes that you can use with that being said let me start on the salad I'm using a measuring cup and I'm gonna measure. Hold on, my measuring cup look like it broke, so. Or the cup here look like or the, or the, the mixing bowl. My ladies and gentlemen, we need some supplies on here because a mixing bowl they're gone. Hold on there, man, I'm a fine one. Oh, maybe I could do this. We move work smart and not hard. If I can find a cover for this, yes, I can. So I'm using one of my ice cream bowls. Don't come for me. Do not come for me, okay? We like ice cream, okay? And I'm gonna pour some olive oil. And I'm using a good quality olive oil, ladies and gentlemen. The Colavia, Colavita olive oil is one of the nice brands, the ones on the market. And so I'm using some olive oil. Let me see how far may I go with it. Yeah, about that which is about um, maybe a little bit of, um, under a cup, let me see. Quarter cup, quarter cup, yeah, about quarter cup of the olive oil. And then, I think you guys wanna see this, so let me make some adjustment. I'm here on my lonesome. All the family has abandoned me, so I'm here on my lonesome tonight. So let me see if I can adjust this camera just to help you guys see all right there we go there we go right this up all right and then i'm gonna cut my lemon and i'm gonna try to squeeze my lemon it's good to get a lemon squeezer these lemons are so big, ladies and gentlemen, you would not believe them. Big old lemon. Of course, when you're making your salad dressing, you can add whatever herbs you like to it to build that little vibe. You know, but the main ingredients is going to be your oil and your lemon, of course. And lemon is better than lime. So, I would work with the lemon. Now to this salad dressing, I'm also going to add a little bit of um, Angostura bitters. And remember guys, we're doing no sugar, so I'm adding these, these you know, just vibes in it. Angostura bitters. Then I'm also adding a little bit of Larry's seasoned salt. Like so, like so. Then I'm adding a 
Thank you. I'm adding some oregano. Like so, like so. And guys, this is very, very, very quick and easy. So, you know, I'm adding some pepper um, flakes for that little kick. And then I'm adding some everything bagel seasoning. And the everything bagel seasoning have not only sesame seed, but it have some black something in there. Where the black something in there? Sure. All right, and I'm adding a little bit of this citrusy garlic seasoning. All right, with that being said, then I'm just gonna add a little bit of this um, cilantro. And then you just want to shake, 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 Sonora, shake your body line. Work, 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 Sonora, work it all the time. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you, jump in the line. Let me see, let me taste it now. Look how it look nice. Let me see, I can taste it now. One more salt. Okay, I believe you jump in the line. Wrap your body in time. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. And I need a little pepper, a little vibes. So, hold on, let me see if I can open the pepper container. Oh, my hands are not good. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna have that pepper there, and I know I have some. Um, I have some. Date syrup somewhere in this cupboard. If I can find it. You know where the date syrup is, boo? Date syrup. Where are you? Date syrup. What can you do? Date syrup. I don't know where you are. So I'm gonna leave you alone and don't add you to my jar. Bitter sweet man. Balsamic reduction. I could use a little balsamic reduction instead. Let me see. I'm gonna find it. Alright, so I'm gonna use a little of this balsamic glaze. All right, and this is our balsamic vinegar reduction. Just a little bit for that flavor. Now, guys, when you're doing a no sugar, you really want to go for flavor. You don't want it boring and bland. You know, because you say no sugar means it must be, you know, just boring. So, okay, so this is what you want to do. You want to substitute the, 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 the added sugar with added um, ingredients. Let me see if I can... Um, Get back into the live chat. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Tanya J. Blessings to you. And all the folks that have joined me in these late hours. All right. So, with that being said now. It's supposed to be nice now. Right there, sir. Right there, sir. All right. So, leave that over there, sir. And we're getting into the mixing part, the, the additional part now. So, when you're doing your bowl, guys, you just have to layer your bowl, all right? I'm going to start with my cucumbers. Because this is what you're going to leave to marinate, you know. Start with your cucumber right there, so. Sir. 
Start with a little of your buckwheat mix. You see, Tanya J. You don't want it too heavy. You come over. Let me grab some onions. Grab some chickpeas. Daniel said, I like honey. I can I use honey? You can use honey. Um, again, because I'm trying to avoid the, 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 the addition of sugar totally, I would, I would not use the honey on mine. But honey is a great substitute, especially in this salad settings. You know, it's nice because um, it also is low glycemic and it's really, really good for you. So, yeah, you can use honey. You know, if you want a little extra sweetness, I'm trying to put in the avocado. Avocados, are, as I said, is a gamble. So you buy the avocado and by the second day of buying it, it, it is spoiled. So work with me, avocado, please and thanks. I feel like I barely go with it because some part not good. And the wife, you don't like this particular type of avocado. She like the ones that she used to from Jamaica, the big ones. She said them one that makes you feel uncomfortable. So, and I have to put none on fear, fear um, dish in in her salad bowl. When, them, when you watch the Instagram, something them, they make it look like, say, it's such an easy breeze, you know? Just put this on this and put that on that. It's not that easy. It take a little time. It does take a little time. Don't, babes. Oh, more. More of the quinoa. I mean, buckwheat. And guys, I promise you, this buckwheat was so delicious on its own. Tanya, you have to try buckwheat. You have to try the buckwheat. It sell, it sell a Publix. I mean, trust me. These are really, really great um, ingredients instead of just, sorry for the knocking, instead of just going directly with rice. And I have here feta cheese. If you don't like feta cheese, you can probably try blue cheese. You can try gorgonzola cheese. You can you can probably cube up um um where the cheese are name cheddar, but eh? What is it? Yeah. Let me put the cheese first. I'm layering. I'm layering. I need a hand oil. I'm layering, so. Layering the food. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And then um, something else. Putting in some of this and some of that. That is it. That is it. Then you come with your dressing now.
and you just drizzle a little dressing no, not too much you're not gonna drench it look at this guys look at this look at this ball look at this ball see and then you cover your ball preferably with an airtight cover And this will marinate in your refrigerator overnight and you have an awesome, awesome bowl ready to go. You see me? Ready to go. Yeah? So, with that being said, guys, how that look? I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna do one more for my Instagram. Thank you. I'm gonna do one more for my Instagram following followers and then from there we pretty much you know just modify it how we choose how we want you see i have eggs there i'm gonna add some eggs you know um to, to one and then you know just set it up the nice and proper way look at that guys look at that and again if you want you could make more layers wool it more layers you could add chickpeas down at the bottom and you know you layer it all you want you see me? I'm gonna make one nice one for my um for my um thumbnail and for my Instagram folks. And from there, we're good to go, guys. Me now keep on along the live as you know it's a late night live. Never planned for, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is great. You can carry this to work and have it by 12 o'clock. This is ready. You understand? And if you if again you don't have to stick to the dressing that I made. You can make your own dressing, add your own ingredients to the dressing. As much, sorry, as much as possible, go with no sugar. And make yourself a nice salad bowl like this. Like so, like so. I think it's nice. I think, um, yeah, it was a good, a good, very good attempt. And then, you see, when what happened now is all the that dressing, I got to sit down through the, the stuff and go down to the bottom. When you're ready to eat, you just turn over everything in a plate. You understand? So I wouldn't eat it from the bowl because all of the dressing are going to be at the bottom. Turn it over in our plate and then everything go back to the top. Makes sense, don't it? I think it does. I think it does. Thank you once again for watching Yada Belly TV. Make a salad bowl at home. And of course, no sugar means less carbs, means less weight, means less blood sugar levels, um, less insulin. Bring your A1C down. Fix up your body, make sure say your body right for the new year, and everything will be right as rain. Remember, me tell us you had the belly TV this, all right? Big up on yourself, continue to live and laugh, cook, uh, eat. That was it. You had the belly TV, out and about. Remember, me tell you. Blessings.